that we feel it's okay for schools to reopen based on the current data that we have today. With that, I will turn it over to Officials with IPS and the health department explain their decision to reopen school this fall to parents. It comes as another district says it will begin the year virtually. We'll have more on that in just a second. As we told you last week, IPS announced its plans to teach students both in the classroom and online. Tonight, Superintendent Alicia Johnson explained further her reasoning behind that plan and took questions from parents. News Ace Dan Klein joins us live outside IPS headquarters. And uh, really, Dan, the health department is backing Alicia Johnson's decision here. Dr. Virginia Kane pointing out that IPS was among the first to close at the beginning of the pandemic, but says things have changed now, and school officials say having an in-person option is best for their families, at least for now. At the end of the day, it is black and brown communities who face and carry the burden of that decision on either side. Those A difficult decision. Open school buildings with the risk of coronavirus or keep them closed, forcing tough choices for working parents and homes without the internet. I want to acknowledge that our decisions uh, won't be perfect. Uh, and certainly not everyone will be in agreement with every decision that we make. That is to be expected. A survey of more than 4,000 parents found one third prefer classroom learning. One third prefer virtual and one third aren't sure. Dr. Virginia Kane, director of the public health department, joined in on the virtual town hall Monday night saying the science and data shows that things are much safer now than they were months ago, lending her support to the IPS decision. So on the whole, uh, we have done honestly a phenomenal job of having our cases reduced um, since the peak. Johnson responded to questions about social distancing in the classroom and on buses. The likely process if a student or staff member tests positive for COVID-19 and the adequate amount of supplies. I feel good about where we are right now uh, in terms of PPE, masks. Um, we've ordered lots and lots of hand sanitizer. But like everything else, everything is subject to change even in the next three weeks before IPS is scheduled to begin on August 3rd. If data points us in a direction that says we need to do something different than what we are currently doing or planning to do, um, we will not hesitate to respond to that. So IPS is asking parents to do two things. Check your uh, child's symptoms every day before they come to school and also have your contact uh, information up to date. So if there's a positive test somewhere connected to your child, they can easily reach you. The district will be in touch with the health department for each positive test to help determine who else might need to quarantine. Now, coming up all new at 11, I'll talk about some of those numbers cited by the health department for why it's safe to reopen. For now, though, reporting live outside Indianapolis Public Schools, Dan Klein, Wish TV, wishtv.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook. Dan, thank you.